I believe that cinema exists to be seen. You know what I mean? It's like it, it happens within the spectator's head or heart. It doesn't happen on the screen. So as long as there is someone watching, uh, cinema can survive. So Rachel uh, uh, plays a photographer in New York. She gets the news that her father, um, who's a very important figure in the Orthodox community back in London, um, has passed away. And she goes home to mourn for him and comes back to a life you know, that she had left behind um, with Dovid and myself. And um, we all grew up together. We all grew up together. And, um, and it's fraught with lots of um, different dynamics, so um, so we kind of are trying to navigate our way through that. I was searching for um, uh, material that I, I could be in, and I thought it would be really great if there were two uh, female parts, really good female parts. And uh, so I read um, a lot of lesbian literature in my pursuit of, of, of that, and, I, I, and this one just struck me as something that was very interesting because it's contemporary, it's set in a community in North London that exists but people don't really know much about, um, and it's about obedience and disobedience and uh, freedom and uh, set in a society where, you know, there are many things that are forbidden, including homosexuality, it's like not on. Uh, so it was a good context for a kind of forbidden love story. I just think something beautiful happens between a camera and an actress. There's something inherently cinematic about that relationship. Not to say that I didn't enjoy filming you, Alessandro. Well, I mean, the thing that you, that you always long for in a director is this sort of delicate balance between uh, a collaborative spirit where they're inviting your creative impulses and your ideas and your thought process about the character that's very personal to you. And then, on the other hand, very strong vision and uh, determination to get their story across. I think we'd all agree that Sebastian has those two qualities in spades. What we were allowed to do was it to be Sebastian's film. So. Sebastian is an auteur with a really distinct point of view. No, no one else could have made this film other than him, and it's it's unique to his sensibility and his how he makes films. So there's no cookie cut in it. So I think the people, the cooks that made the script, then just let Sebastian make just make his film, and they 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 stop cooking. There is a different atmosphere uh, on the set of making a smaller movie or an independent film than there is on the studio. In the studio movie, you just feel like every frame you're aware of the fact that the whole world is watching somehow. And with a movie like this, you feel like you're off in some little corner of the universe. That feeling of, of intimacy and being uh, you know, tucked away from, from the public eye during that process, you just you don't feel as aware of that scrutiny. It was wonderful to discover that, uh, coming from where I'm coming from, that at the end of the day, you know, there's the camera and the actors, and that's where cinema happens. All what's behind is necessary, but you know, the magic is in that private uh, relationship. And uh, yeah, you, you knock at the door of cinema and you hope that it will be open and uh, nothing's guaranteed. But I think uh, I, I felt, you know, privileged and I had a great time working with, with this fantastic uh, artist. Mm -hmm.